new data released by the CSO uh, needs to be analyzed carefully before reaching uh, a strong or uh, a con stronger conclusions with certitude. That data shows that a slowdown in economic activity set in during the first quarter of 2016-17. Uh, I ahead of uh, well ahead of demonetization. The data also show that agriculture and mining and quarrying, two areas uh, which have cash which are high cash intensive, are not affected by demonetization. Uh, rural wage growth again has remained elevated, especially compared to agricultural labor inflation. Turning to GDP, uh, private consumption actually accelerated in Q3 when the demonetization was the most intense and then remained resilient in Q4. What is important to note in the CSO's data is that the slowdown in GDP is mainly due to deceleration in gross fixed capital formation during quarters one to three and then a contraction in Q4. This suggests that there are more fundamental factors at work that public policy should address urgently to rekindle the animal spirits and reinvigorate entrepreneurship and business optimism. Please recall that in March, inflation had begun to rise in line with our earlier projections. The reading for April, however, surprised on the downside. In our assessment, a combination of new factors are at work. One, the transitory effects that have kept inflation low since November could be lingering on. And two, there are supply glut conditions in respect of pulses, cereal, and vegetables, which may have set in before demonetization. The MPC decided to persevere with a neutral stance and maintain status quo with regard to the policy rate. The MPC resolution uh, uh, says that the risk of fiscal slippages, which by and large can entail inflationary spillovers, uh, has risen with the announcements of the large uh, farm loan waivers. And uh, you know, past episodes uh, in our country have shown that uh, when there are significant fiscal slippages, uh, they do permeate through to inflation uh, sooner or later.